So we are currently in the process of um, possibly replacing our DSL connection with 4G LTE internet. Um, and so we're evaluating the high boost 4K plus at the moment to see what kind of results we can get. So before I show you what kind of boost we're getting with that, I'll show you a reference point. So we live out in rural Michigan and we're about 10 miles from the strongest tower that we pick up. So that's the one I'm picking up right here. And you can see the, the signal is just atrocious. And if we try and do a speed test, it may fail or it'll go really slow. So we're getting a few megs down, and this is like with one bar, two megs, and it's it's also downpouring right now. It is raining. And now for the upload. Barely anything. So sometimes we can get a decent downlink, but the upload is just pretty much almost non-existent because we're so far away and we got some trees around us and stuff. Yeah, signal loss, 94%. That's not good. So we're trying out the high boost 4K Plus and I got a kind of temporary setup right now. So I kind of repurposed my my roof rake for taking s snow off the the roof since that extends about 15 feet so I have the directional uh, log periodic antenna up there so that's about 15 feet off our deck we're pointed about south southwest at that tower that's about 10 miles away and we'll go do a speed test on the booster and show you what kind of results we're getting all right, so now we're in our basement, and you can see we got the unit powered up, and this has a built-in indoor antenna that projects this way. Um, but if we take a look at some of these numbers, you see we are boosting. Um, these aren't that great. This is what the dials look like on the supervisor app. Um, we're getting good output power on uh, band 13 and band 2, but band 4 isn't that healthy neither is band 5 though band 4 even though we're getting a negative reading on that that is our strongest band here and we'll get the best um, data throughput on that one that's the one the phone usually picks up but if we look at our signal now you know, I'm probably only a foot and a half away from the device and I'm getting 86 81 on band 4 so pretty strong now it's reading four bars, probably can't see that all that well. But let's go ahead and do a speed test and see how it's changed. So for reference, my DSL connection here is four down and one up. And most of the time you don't even get that full one, you get like 0.85. So anything above that is, is a major improvement for me. There we go, heading upwards of 10, 14, 15, on a rainy day. So hanging kind of strong around 17-ish down, and then fluctuating a little bit on the up. But pushing towards 2. And I've done some other tests, and I've, I've had it go as high as 3, 4, 5. Um, but it just depends on the weather for the upload power as for what you're going to get. But so far, yeah, this unit's pretty nice. Um, it doesn't quite get the maximum boost that you can get for a Band 4 cell booster, so I'm going to try another one 
and see if I get slightly better results, but um, this is definitely an excellent unit if, you, uh, if you're in the market for a cell booster, good quality.